Okay, hey, it's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. Mike Gervin from Excel is fun is going to be joining us. Someone sent this question in via YouTube. They have a workbook, two worksheets, a prospects worksheet and a customer's worksheet. And they say, hey, I want to look through the prospects worksheet. If the prospect is already on the customer worksheet, let's delete them. Okay, well, I'm going to do that using uh, match. But first, I want to do view new window and then arrange all that allows me to see two different windows of the same spreadsheet on the left hand side here are the prospects on the right hand side check this out I can click and see the customers now I can see both worksheets side by side isn't that cool and then I'm gonna create a brand new column called there as in is it there we'll use we could use VLOOKUP I'm gonna use match equal match say go find this customer in this list over here on the other sheet check that out isn't that cool you can just point to it using the mouse press f4 to lock that down and then comma zero that's like using comma false in the vlookup uh, you know false is really a zero in the uh, match they put a zero there because there's the possibility of doing less than or greater le greater than and match that's a topic for another day na all right usually na's are bad but in this case na's are good that means that it is not over there we will double click to shoot that down all right here's what we get NA means it's not in the other list. Anything else means that it is in the other list. So what is this saying? Five General Motors is the fifth item. One, two, three, four, five in that list. I don't care where it is. I just want to know if it's there or not. And so we can come back here to data, click A to Z, and then delete those records. Bam, they'd be gone. So that's how I would do it. Now, of course, the downside with mine, and I'm not sure that Mike's going to have any better solution for this, is if there's a misspelling, if it says General Motors over here and GM over there, uh, it's never going to find that. We're going to have to look at a fuzzy match formula. Uh, that's definitely a story for another day. All right, Mike, let's see what you can do. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, fuzzy match? Wow, that gets pretty complicated. Ah, but no worries. You go search for fuzzy match at the Mr. Excel message ports. There's lots of great solutions. Now, uh, here, match, that's a great way to go. But what if you don't know how to use the match? Let's just use the VLOOKUP and see how that works. VLOOKUP, we need our lookup value. Hey, we're going to say, hey, AIG comma and then I'm going to say where is the table array well instead of a table we'll just give it a column just like that hit my F4 key to lock it and then we have our comma to get to the column index and instead of two three four like we usually use we'll just use one one so we're looking up through the actual lookup column and returning the item from that column now really that doesn't make sense usually except for in this case we're only interested in the na so it works just fine false because we're looking up a word so instead of false I'm gonna put a zero control enter double click and send it down now, in 2007, when you want to sort, you can right-click sort, and I'll say uh, A to Z. And sure enough, all of the NAs mean they are not over here. These are the ones we want to keep. These are the ones we want to do whatever with. Ah, match delivered the position right, but the VLOOKUP actually returned the uh, customer name. Now, I'm going to Control-Z to unsort that. And now, I want to show you a third a third formula here but I want to close this open window here notice there's a one there and a two there that means we, the same workbook is open twice I'm gonna go ahead and close this and then maximize and I want to build this formula with a count if and I want to show you something interesting uh, between using a sheet reference where you click on the sheets and using that um, open same workbook open in two windows all right, count if. No, wait a second. What count if? Well, count if. What if we say, hey, is AIG, how many AIGs are over in this list? Well, if it's there, it'll return a 1. If AIG is not over there, it'll return a 0. So we'll get a columns of 1s and zeros. Zeros will be the item that we're, the return value that we're interested in. Count to if. I'm going to say the range. And now watch this. I'm clicking on the sheet. I'm highlighting the customer names I'm hitting F4 I'm gonna type comma and then I'm gonna click on this uh, sheet right here and then I'm gonna go ahead and get that and what happened this annoying uh, sheet reference as soon as we start using sheet reference the formula thinks we want sheet references everywhere we definitely don't want prospects because the formulas on this sheet so we have to highlight it and delete it that will work just fine you know you double click and send it down but um, let's just delete that 
and open the same workbook in a new window and watch the difference when we create a formula with uh, count if. Arrange all, we want vertical, click OK. So, and then I click over here, boop. And I'm actually going to scoot this out of the way. And actually, once you open the two windows, you actually don't need to use that uh, arrange. You can just use the uh, restore and maximize buttons and, and put them wherever you want. So there we have it. I'm going to say equals count if. The range, I'm doing the same thing as I did before. F4, comma, but watch this. When I click right there, you got to be kidding me. It didn't put it in. Awesome. Totally uh, gets rid of because we have the same workbook open in two windows. We don't get that annoying prospect explanation point sheet reference. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And zeros are the ones we're interested in. I want to shove the ones to the top, the NAs to the bottom. So I'm going to click in one cell and right click sort and I'm going to do largest to smallest. So there we have it. Count if delivered the zeros, VLOOKUP delivered an NA, MATCH delivered an NA. These are the ones we are interested in. All right, uh, I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. All right, there you have it. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun.